Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. In honor of the new Shogun miniseries out on Disney, I thought I'd give you my top three Shoguns list. And since I'm sure you're wondering if your favorite Shogun is on my list, I'll cut to the chase. The three are Yoritomo, Tsuniyoshi, and Ieyasu. And I'm going to let you know why they're my favorites and we'll see some cool prints along the way. First, some definitions. In Japan, the old feudal system hierarchy started with the emperor, who was the spiritual figurehead and leader. Next are shoguns, who governed the land and the military. Then the daimyo, who were the regional rulers. Then the samurai, the peasants, the artisans, and finally the merchants. There were three main shogunates in Japanese history. The Kamakura, the Ashikaga, and the Tokugawa. The first official shogun was Minamoto no Yoritomo, who ruled from 1192 until 1199. And it took him a lot of battles to gain and hold his positions as shogun. This print by Sadahide shows Yoritomo defeating the Taira clan at the Battle of Dan no Ura in 1185. And here he established the supremacy of the warrior samurai caste and the first shogunate. And this began the feudal age in Japan. Here is a triptych by Kuniyoshi of Yoritomo causing a flood to aid his battle at Hiraizumi. And a print of the great battle of the Minamoto and Taira clans at Ichi Ichinotani. One important event that happened during Yoritomo's reign is that in the year 1193, he arranged a huge hunting event at the foot of Mount Fuji called Fuji no Makigari. And they say 700,000 people attended. In this triptych, you can see the scale with all the animals being driven out of the forests towards spearmen. And on the last night of this hunt, the infamous revenge of the Soga brothers took place. You can learn more about this Japanese saga if you watch my recent video on the Revenge of the Soga Brothers. And finally, I have a couple of prints here of Yoritomo releasing cranes to mourn for the war dead. This one is by Yoshitoshi from his series Famous Generals of Japan, and one by Kuniyoshi of the same event from the series 53 Parallels for the Tokaido Road. And if you look at the legs of the cranes as they fly away, you can see that they have identification tags in order to track their age, because it was said that cranes lived for 1,000 years. Now we're going to jump about 400 years to 1603 to Shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu. He is the Shogun that the James Clavell novel was about back in 1975. If any of you read that book or saw the TV series. And he is the Shogun that the new Disney show is based on. In this print by the artist Kiyochika, we see the future Shogun as a young boy on the back of a servant, leading the children at a stone throwing game. Ieyasu grew into a powerful daimyo and went on to become the first Shogun of the Tokugawa Shogunate. He established a new central government at Edo, and his descendants went on to rule Japan for the next 260 years. During this time, Japanese society as we know it today was created. The dramatic events of Ieyasu's life also include a lot of battles. Here is a print of Ieyasu defeating the Iko Iki at the Battle of Azu Kizuaka in 1564. And here is an image of his victory at the Battle of Sekigahara in 1600. It was the largest battle ever fought in Japan. But even powerful shoguns with large armies still run into difficulty on the battlefield. Here is a print by Yoshitoshi of a warrior named Tadanori rescuing Ieyasu and carrying him off the battlefield on his back. And this one is a, dy a dynamic print by Nobukazu. And we can see Ieyasu escaping on his horse from the battle in Daijin village. And a print by Yoshitoshi showing 
Ieyasu's difficulty during the summer battle at Osaka Castle. On top of all these battles, Ieyasu saw Christianity as a threat to society and banned the religion and executed thousands of believers. And finally, here's a more sedate image of, Ie of Ieyasu at the entrance to a palace from Yoshitoshi's series, Mirror of Famous Generals of Japan. If you visit Japan, you can stop by the Tokugawa Museum in Nagoya and check out all the original relics. It's on my short list of uh, places to see. Our final shogun is Tokugawa Tsunayoshi, also nicknamed the Dog Shogun. He was the fifth Tokugawa Shogun, and I think one of the most interesting shoguns in Japanese history. He didn't even really want to become a shogun, but he reluctantly accepted, and his rule coincided with the Genroku era, which was a period of cultural growth and prosperity, especially for ordinary townspeople who could suddenly attain education and wealth. And maybe part of the reason for this social progress is that Suniyoshi was really dependent on his mother for advice on everything. Here's a print of the 15 Tokugawa shoguns by Yoshitoshi, and Tsunayoshi is the one petting the white dog. Tsunayoshi was born in the year of the dog, but the reason he got the name the dog shogun was that in 1685, he instated his laws of compassion, which included making the maltreatment of dogs an offense punishable by death. Stray dogs were a real problem at this time in Japan. And here is a crude map of Nakano Inogoya, or the dog shelters that Suniyoshi built. The shelters took care of over 80,000 wild dogs. He also outlawed using birds like hawks and falcons to hunt. He forbade the hunting of eagles, doves, wild ducks, and deer. He ordered the registration of pregnant women and young children to help to prevent infanticide. And he made local officials responsible for finding homes for abandoned children and caring for sick travelers. Now, if you broke these laws, you could be forced to commit suicide, executed, jailed, or exiled. And of course, <laughs> His nephew and successor, uh, Tokugawa Ienobu, rescinded these laws soon after taking office in 1709. Some other famous events that took place dur during uh, Tsunayoshi's rule were, in 1701, it was the Revenge of the 47 Ronin, or the famous Chushingura story. And this true story of revenge and honor was made into many kabuki plays and hundreds of woodblock prints by all the major ukiyo-e artists. Other events were that in 1706, Edo was hit by the worst earthquake and tsunami in Japanese history, as well as the most violent eruption of Mount Fuji in history. In this print by Hokusai, we can see the buildings falling down, people flying through the air and trying to get to safety. So for the 29 years he ruled, the dog shogun had a pretty interesting life. And those were my three favorite shoguns. but. Special bonus mention to Shogun Tokugawa Iemochi, the 14th Tokugawa Shogun. He was the one who made the historic trip from Edo to Kyoto in 1863 to pay his respects to the emperor. This was the first time in 230 years that a Shogun had visited Kyoto, and many ukiyo-e artists uh, were commissioned to create designs for this series, including Kunisada, Yoshitoshi, Hiroshige II, Sadahide, Yoshiiku, Kuniteru, and 16 artists in all designed 162 prints. And it's one of the most well-documented events in Japanese history. It's fun to see the extent of the procession that had over 3,000 people and the landscapes and towns they passed through. Plus, we get to compare different artists' impressions of the same subject. I'll do a video on this series sometime, th sometime later this year. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of famous shoguns. If you get a chance, check out the Shogun mini-series on the Disney Channel. It's been getting great reviews. Until next time, like and subscribe, and happy collecting!